Hey guys, it's Eric, and today we're going to take a look at my most recent purchase of this Philips Hue Edison bulb. Now, I am adjusting my light exposure in my camera just so you can see the detail of this Edison bulb and how cool it is. Now, my first suggestion is that you don't run this in a device like, like with a, a shaded lamp or something like that where you're not going to see the filament. This type of light bulb is supposed to be shown off so you can see it every day and actually enjoy it. There's other bulbs out there that are made for shaded lamps and color light bulbs that you can put in different things um, where you this one is supposed to be seen every single day. Now to get the full detail of this lamp, unfortunately, uh, when you're looking at this lamp from far away and you're not adjusting your eyes for this type of um, bulb, unfortunately this is what it kind of looks like. This looks like a normal light bulb that kind of gets blurred out. So I do suggest, secondly, is that you do reduce the brightness down so you can actually see the filament and actually enjoy it. So hey Siri, turn the Edison bulb down to 10%. So now without any camera adjustments, so now you can see the full filament, you can see the creativity and the art of this bulb and really, really enjoy it. And the third thing is yes, this is a Bluetooth bulb. So you can connect this to Lady A, AKA Alexa or Google, and you can have this integrated with those systems. Now, if you have a Philips Hue Hub, What's also really cool is that you can get this bulb in the HomeKit and use this with your Apple HomeKit. And that's why I've done here. I do have a Hue Hub, I have other Hue Hub bulbs and accessories, and it's all tied into my Apple HomeKit. So this does work with Apple HomeKit. Hope this video was helpful. Hope you love this type of bulb. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.